welcome and a welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, we have an exciting haul from Sephora. I have been waiting for this box for the past week. The shipping felt like forever. <laughs> I don't know why this box, I was just like really anticipating. Normally, I don't really, you know, I don't really pay attention to how fast the shipping is. But for some reason, I was just really anxious to get this in the mail on November 1st is when the sale started. So I think this sale is gonna run till the 11th. So you have about, you have one more day. <laughs> we have one more day to order anything that you want on the Sephora site. First things first, let's talk about what I have on my face because I actually did my makeup today, which is unusual, but I wanted to play around with some things. On my lips, I have a lip liner. This is from ColourPop. This is in the shade Grunge. Not my favorite all-time shade from ColourPop. My favorite shade of lip liner from ColourPop is BFF3. It's a little bit darker brown. This one is, it's a little, it's like a shade up. So I decided to use this one today. And then for my lips, I'm, I have on a Lime Crime lipstick. This is in the shade Teddy Bear. So it's like this really pinky, newbie mauve very on brand for me. I, I wanted to go with the lighter color, but I didn't realize it was going to be so dark. But. but with the start of the show, I have these two palettes that I grabbed from Cosmic Brushes. Absolutely love Cosmic Brushes. They are, I would say, like my favorite eyeshadow palette brand, like of all time. They have such good quality and they're really affordable. They're like a UK based brand, but you can still order if you live abroad. Um, this is the one I used today. It's called the Neutrals Palette, and I have been waiting for this to go back in stock. It was sold out. This is what it looks like inside. Stunning fall palette, and like just year-round in general, but oh my goodness, look at these shades. She does have, they do have duochrome shadows in here that are just to die for. Like, this shade looks like a white, but like it's actually a pinky gold. Beautiful, like look at this. You can see like it's like a fiery red in the light, but it's clear. It's almost like a topper shade. I do have that on my eyes right now. And then this one I think is another duochrome. Like it's gold, it's copper, and then it turns to um, green. Copper, and in the light it turns to green. Uh, I, you really can't see the green flip. I'm sad about that on camera, but it's stunning in person so foiled and pigmented beautiful beautiful shade and then this is the the green one called undergrowth beautiful green color story the brown girl friendly they are a uh, woman of color owned so that's awesome as well but let's go ahead and dive into our sephora haul okay so this is a sneak peek of what we have going on in here so i think what i want to do first is the body care and then we'll jump into the perfumes and then we'll do the makeup last because I think y'all care about the makeup the least. Okay, so first off, I grabbed the Sol de Janeiro Delicia Drench Body Butter, but this is this is what this one looks like. I got the big one, and only because I do really like this scent. I know this the scent of the body butter is a lot lighter than the actual body mist, but actually, this smells really good. It's, it's stronger than what I thought. Like it smells just like the um the mist. Uh really moisturized. I haven't tried it yet, but I've heard that this is a, like a really thick moisturizing body butter. So I wanted to try this out. I have tried their formula before, like the Sol de Janeiro 62. That was a long time ago, but this one, hopefully this one is a lot closer to something like a, the Fenty. So we'll see. We'll see. I grabbed this in the full size really not that cheap so i'm hoping that it's gonna do the trick and i wanted to layer it up with my mist I, do, I wish they had a perfume of this like i need them to come out with perfumes of all of their good uh mist like i need a perfume version of this one i need it of the after hours that would be great so i'm so de janeiro if you're listening please please just do us a favor so next for body care i did go ahead and grab the fenty marshmallow body butter I was not planning on getting this, the butter drop toasted and toasted marshmallow. I didn't even realize that it's shimmering. I don't know how I feel about it. So shimmering whipped oil body cream. I was not, this This was not even in my cart till I went in store one day and I went back to the where the Fenty is and this girl was over there, she was just raving about them. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, yeah, I smelled it and it just smelled okay to me. 
Um, but like I fell in love with the Fenty formula all over again. I forgot how good it is. Like I always knew, but when I put it on my hands and I was walking around the store, my hands just felt like silk. It was just, I couldn't, I was like, I'm going to have to get this. <laughs> and then plus the thing is with the original Fenty, the butter drop, that original, like, I think they call it like fresh Fenty fresh. It's like a tropical kind of like fresh scent floral. It's more floral fruity. I don't really know how to describe that scent, but the scent of it is not my favorite. And then also I feel like the scent of it clashes with a lot of my other perfumes and things that I try to wear. So whenever I wear that that body butter, I, I, I either have to use like a perfume that plays well with that scent or I'm going to bed or something where I don't really care what else I'm wearing it with. So when I seen that she had a toasted marshmallow, something that's a little bit more neutral that might go with a little bit more of my perfumes and things, I was like, okay, you got me. So <laughs> let's see. Um, I just smelled it. And yeah, it just smells very light, like a light. Um, let's see, let's put it on. To me, I'm getting caramel and I don't know where that's coming from. Smelling like something like a little bit caramely. Yeah. Interesting. So we're, what we're going to smell next is I also got the trio with the minis because if you guys know me, you know I work in healthcare and I wash my hands probably about like 20 times a day If and that might be like a good day. So like my hands really go through it at work and I really need to take better care of my hands and I felt like these would just be the perfect thing to like have with me at work. Um, it comes with the original, I think it comes, yeah, it comes with the original scent, the Fenty Fresh, comes with the marshmallow one, and then also this is a new one, Salted Caramel. This is also shimmery. Hold on, because I just put that one on my hand and I was like, I didn't even notice that it was shimmery. Very glossy. <laughs> you can see how moisturized. If you've never tried the Fenty formula, I mean, it is so worth it. I, I really feel like they are worth it. They're a little bit more pricey, but yeah, see, now that the marshmallow has dried down, it really just smells like, like a caramel to me. So that's interesting. Let's see how this caramel one smells in comparison. The caramel one doesn't even smell caramely. I already have glitter on my hand from when I was doing my makeup. <laughs> So I might not be able to see the glitter. The glitter in this is very, very fine. Like, honestly, you guys, the glitter in here would not even, I don't even know why she calls it shimmering because there's barely any glitter. They smell very similar to me. They, I would say, I will say the marshmallow is a little bit lighter than the, the caramel one. Caramel one is a little bit more rich. I like them both. I really do like them both. I, this one, I can get a little bit more like this toasty, um, the salted aspect. It says salted caramel. I can get, it's almost giving, wanting to be like pretzel. That salty kind of thing almost reminds me of like a pretzel. <laughs> A little bit like a caramel pretzel or something both really good I really like both of these other body care this is like the last body care ish this is really skincare I grabbed the faded topicals brightening and clearing serum for uneven skin tone I didn't know it was a serum I've had this before and I never really was consistent with it it's in this little tube thing very good if you have dark marks, hyperpigmentation. I have a lot of that. Anytime I get a bump or whatever you want, anything on my face, I scar and I get um, hyperpigmented bumps really easily. So this really stinks, but it like it smells bad, but it works really well. So I'm going to give this another shot. I think I need to be a little bit more diligent and consistent when I'm using this to see results. So I, th I saw this little mini size. I'm just going to test it out and see how my skin does with this. This always gets really good reviews on Sephora. So I'm going to give this another go. Hopefully it won't break me out. I don't know if I want to talk about that next. Do I? Okay. I guess I will. This is like kind of makeup, but not really. Since we're talking about Fenty, I did go ahead and grab the Fenty Treats Hydrating Strengthening Lip Oil. This is a repurchase for me. I absolutely adore this lip oil and I've tried quite a few and I always love this one so much. Um, I grabbed the color black cherry this time. 
the first one that I tried, well, I had bought it in a set. So I have the melon one. I think this is called like Kalahari melon or something. It does smell like melon and I don't really like the scent of this one. That's why I never really use it. <laughs> um, yeah, a very strong melon scent to this. I don't really like it. Don't really like this one, but the cherry one, oh, the, uh, the original cherry scent is so good. I have that one in my bedside table and I... I'm almost done with it. I really didn't want to purchase this because it's so, it's a little bit more on the expensive side for pretty much like a clear gloss. Like this one looks like it has a little bit more color because it's the black cherry shade. So we'll see. Actually, let me put a little bit on the back of my hand just to see. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I honestly just wear these to bed. So I don't really care if it has any color, but so moisturizing, silky on the lips, buttery. I mean, it lasts on me all night. I've tried the Laneige ones. Those are okay, but to me, I really like these better. And the smell on this one, I really, I really don't mind the smell on this one. This one is kind of close to the original cherry. It just smells like maybe if you were to take the original cherry one and like add like a little bit of like a black cherry Merlot or a wine kind of smell to it. It smells good, so I don't mind that. So I really needed a backup of this. I thought I would just reinvest. <laughs> uh, love that if you're looking for a lip oil. So let's get to the fun stuff. Let's get to the fragrances. I did pick up a few full-size fragrances, and then I got a bunch of minis. This one is the Ellis Brooklyn Vanilla Sin. I think I was going to get this anyways. I was going to get the um the mini size till I went in store and I was over there by all of the mist and uh, that was probably a bad idea because <laughs> I sprayed this and I absolutely love it. It smells so good. Let me spray it again. I did get the big size. This is 100 mLs. So it's a 3.3 ounce. This is my first mist from Ellis Brooklyn. Ooh, this is good. Mmm, 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 wow. This, I really like it, you guys. So, to me, this isn't even, I don't even feel like this is cherry. There's a little bit of cherry in here, but I get the cherry, like, if I'm searching for it. More than anything, this just smells almost like a little bit like, um, what's the one I'm thinking about? Commodity milk. Like, it does, it's like a spicy, almost milky... I feel like there's a little bit of cinnamon in here. What's the notes? It says, a vanilla fragrance body mist that could become your biggest vice. If I'm not mistaken, the notes are not on here, but if I'm not mistaken, I feel like it said vanilla, cherry, and like almond, or, or I think it was hazelnut. It was something nutty. But yeah, this is good. Now, I would love to have this if they had this in a body cream. Ugh. The bottle is glass. It's heavy. It's glass. This was like $48, so not cheap. Like, I mean, I literally could have bought a perfume for this amount of money. So I'm really hoping that this has some staying power to it. But man, this is just perfect right now for the season. I'm telling you. Mm -mm -mm. More than anything, I get like vanilla and spices out of this. Maybe a hint of the cherry, but the cherry, I like that the cherry is not overpowering this. So it's just like, I guess what the name says, vanilla sin. It does remind me a little bit of like vanilla skin from Fleur. I feel like if you like vanilla skin, you would like this. Since we were talking about Fleur, I went ahead and I picked up the Fleur Vanilla Sin skin <laughs> uh, all of these vanilla skin sin whatever you want to call it I picked up this one in the perfume uh I have been waiting for the sale so this is really like the only full-size perfume that I grabbed believe it or not um yeah I haven't had this in the travel size now I do have it in the mist form and I absolutely love it you guys know I've been obsessed with the mist and so I went in store to spray it one day just to make sure pretty much what I did <laughs> What I did was I went in store one day and I just like sprayed and tried and tested everything that was in my cart like before the sale happened just to make sure that I really wanted everything in my cart. And yeah, I sprayed this on my wrist and I just wanted to make sure that it was going to do well with my body chemistry and that also it was going to smell similar enough to my mist that I have been liking. So, and it did really well. Like I was, 
in the car and I was smelling it. And to me, it just smells like a, maybe like a stronger version of the mist. It's perfect. So love my little vanilla skin. Whew, that is good. It's like, it smells even sweeter uh, um, in the perfume to me than the mist. Like almost like I'm getting like a little bit of like a buttercream frosting kind of vibe thing going on. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that. Um, and then also on the same day when I was in store, I tested out the caramel skin and I actually don't hate this. I never really wanted it. Well, I was always curious about it when it first came out, but for based on the reviews, the reviews were terrible. Everybody seemed like they just hated this and people were calling it steak rub and saying that it smells like a barbecue. And so I just... Off, based off of that, I was like, I'm all set. <laughs> but I sprayed it in store, and I really did think that it was pretty good. Now, I got to test it on my skin and see what I really feel and how my body chemistry does with it. But, yeah, I like it. It smells, like, to me, it just smells like a straight-up caramel scent. Like, and that's, I feel like that's what I've been looking for because you guys know I've been loving caramel apple stuff lately. And so I feel like sometimes I want to create my own caramel apple perfect scent of the day. And I don't really have like an isolated caramel perfume or scent that I could just add to like something that I have that's apple. And so I'm hoping that this will do the trick for me. I love it. I think this is going to go perfect with like my more apple-y scents. So I'm not really getting anything like barbecue steak rub. I think it's great. <laughs> um, they, I don't think they have a perfume of caramel. Do they have the perfume of caramel skin yet? I don't know. I feel like I may have seen a sneak peek or something of caramel skin in the perfume, but I feel like that's coming. But I'm going to keep testing out the mist for right now and then... We'll see if I might want the perfume later on. It could be, could be pretty good. I did smell the uh, coconut one. I think it's like, is it coconut skin? I think that's what it's called. That one I wasn't the biggest fan of, which is not surprising because I don't normally like coconut anything <laughs> unless it's like heavy vanilla or it gives off like more of like a coconut cream pie kind of thing. That was to me just like more of your beachy sunscreeny coconut scent. And I just don't, don't need that. Not even, not right now. So opted not to get that. Next I grabbed 76 from Sol de Janeiro. Cirrhosa 76. This is the after hours one. Um, if you guys watched my Dua video, you saw that I grabbed this in the Dua perfume form. And it just did not didn't make the mark for me this I just felt like I still was craving this DNA and that wasn't giving it to me so I just knew that I still have to get the original one out I wish that they would come out with this in a perfume that would be amazing but this is so good Woo! this just smells like a grown woman to me like this is not your young like flirty little <laughs> type of scent to me this just feels very seductive and a little bit more mature and grown of a scent than they usually come out with I know it describes it in the notes as like velvety and for some reason I really do get like it just feels like a rich velvety black currant Whoa, this is so good. And you know what? This is going to do very well if you were to mix this with like even the vanilla sin. I think these two would smell really good because this I feel like is not that sweet on its own. But if you wanted to sweeten it up a little bit more, adding a little bit of this would be really good. So I'm going to test that out. I can't remember. Do they have this in the body butter yet? I don't think so because I feel like if they had this in the body butter, I think I would have gotten it, but they don't. So, Sharosa, what are y'all doing over there? So de Janeiro, y'all need to come on. We need body butters. We need perfumes. <laughs> come on. Let's get going, okay? They have some good scents over there, and they're just, like, really taking their time. I don't know what's going on. All right, so I have... A couple travel sprays that we're gonna smell here. Oh, I'm cutting up some strips <laughs> so I can smell stuff. I do not have, I need to buy some perfume strips. Y'all, I tried to buy these perfume strips off Timu and literally this is how small they are. 
what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> they are so teeny tiny. Like by the time you uh, spray on those, you can't even smell anything. So I've been having to cut up my little index cards. So the first thing I grabbed was Commodity Milk. This is the personal one. Now I do have the expressive one already. But I have run into some problems with that one, y'all. I don't know why, but every time I put that on, it pulls a little bit masculine on me. Like, smells great initially, but I feel like hours after I have it on, I get this undertone and it smells like, it almost wants to smell like a man that is a little bit sweaty. <laughs> like, you know how men have that, like, like, a little bit of a natural musk to them? That's what I get, like, in the, the way down in the dry down, and I don't like that. So I really wanted to give the original, this is the personal one. So if you don't know, they have a personal, they have a expressive, I think, is the step up, and then they have a bold. So I have the one that's in the middle and that's the one that always kind of pulls a little bit somewhat masculine on me. So I want to give this one a try. People say that this version is it's definitely lighter, it sits closer to the skin. You get more of like this caramel milky feel out of this one. The expressive you get more of the spice in that one. So I'm wondering maybe this one might work a little bit better for me. This smells really good. I think I'm gonna like this one. I think I am going to enjoy this one a little bit more than the other one. This smells really good. It is very light though. Like I already feel like I'm losing it. The original DNA that I know is there, but this one, I do get, I do feel like this one is sweeter. Like it almost feels like there's more vanilla or marshmallowy, that kind of note in this. So I kind of, I'm hoping, I'm hopeful. Let's hope and let's pray that this one will do a little bit better for me. I'm okay with it not having as like great of projectivity. I just want to know that I smell good. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I can layer this up with uh, other stuff as well. Let's do this next. So yeah, I picked up the Fenty perfume. I This is not, I was not anticipating really liking this scent. So that day when I was in Sephora and I was testing out a bunch of their stuff and I sprayed this on me. And um, I had forgot all about it, left the store. But when I was driving home, this was like it stayed throughout till I washed it off. Like, and it was strong. This thing is loud, <laughs> but I really do like it. Oh, this is good. It's like a, it's like a strong floral. I feel like I do pick up on something maybe a little bit citrusy in here. I'm not sure of the notes right now. I can't remember. Yeah, it, this is strong. This is going to be a lasting perfume. I feel like this is a perfume that will carry you year round. Like I feel like I can see myself wearing this in spring, winter, summer, like all the seasons. I feel like this is a chameleon of a perfume. I feel like it will do very well through all the seasons. Don't know what it's going to layer with because it is a very unique scent that I don't have. I don't, I don't feel like this smells like anything that I have. So I don't know what I can layer this with, but I'm interested to try. It's a little bit challenging. It's not really my usual scent profile. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I just, I, I fell in love with it when I had it on. It smelled really good with my body chemistry. And I, I think it's, I think it's a good one. I know it gets a lot of hate, but I think y'all need to give it another try. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a fresh floral. It does give me a little tinge of maybe like a bathroom cleaner or something in here. But I like it. I do. I do like it. So I'm going to test that out a little bit more, see how I feel. Um, also, I picked up the Love Shack Fancy. This is in the Endless Dreams. Does this say the notes on here? Yes. It's, so the note, it says, addictive vanilla floral entwined in strawberry and raspberry vine. So it says... The main notes are strawberry, jasmine, and vanilla. I did spray this when I was in store. And I think I sprayed maybe this and the other two, like the pink one, and then they have a blue one, right? This is the one that grabbed me the most. That, that strawberry, I'm telling y'all, I am, me and strawberry have just been, strawberry has had me in a chokehold the past, since August, and I can't get loose. I don't know what's going on, but... 
me and strawberry have just been like glue lately. I cannot stop wearing strawberry anything. I love it in all forms, creamy, fresh, floral, whatever you want to do with strawberry, I'm into it. This is good. This is so good. This almost smells a little bit like, um, smells a little bit like maybe, uh, what's, what am I thinking? The strawberries and snowflakes from Bath and Body Works. Kind of reminds me of that, but perfumey, like way perfumey. Like the florals in here, I do get it. It's like a fresh, a fresh strawberry. This is beautiful. And then it is something about this is a little bit creamy. I guess it's the vanilla. This is awesome. This I might need a full size of. <laughs> I don't know. This one is good, smelling like I need full size of this. It's not too strong, but it's it's beautiful. This is just like ethereal, fluffy strawberry. I know that the strawberry from um, Kayali is coming soon. So I'm interested to see how this is different from that. But this is beautiful. This is like basically what I'm imagining the Kayali one to smell like similar to this. This one doesn't have like that extremely strong marshmallow decadent like gourmand aspect to it, but a little bit is there. Like it's something is creamy, almost like a strawberry, a fresh strawberries and whipped cream kind of vibe. Lastly, for my perfumes, we have Brown Girl Jane in Carousel. I did not know that the Brown Girl Jane fragrances were not sold in store. Because I went in Sephora looking for them. And the girl said that they're only online. So this is a blind buy. I don't know what this smells like. But based on the notes that I saw, it seemed like it was right up my alley. I, I, I feel like I hear really good reviews about this fragrance. Very similar. It's the same color as like the full size. But the notes on this one, this one has a lot of notes. Like I was saying, I feel like the Brown Girl Jane, they get a lot of good reviews. This one seems to be the most liked out of everything. And then what got me is the first note is caramelized apples. So you guys know, like I've said in pretty much every single video, caramel apple has just been my thing lately. I want to always smell like a caramel apple. Um, so the first note says caramelized apple, sparkling black currant, spun sugar, lily of the valley, coral rose, orange blossom, sandalwood creme, cloud musk, and cherry leather. So I think this is supposed to smell like similar to a carnival like it's supposed to put you in the mindset of like you're in a carnival okay interesting i was thinking this might i was trying to i was interested to see how different this was going to smell than the cirque du soleil scent because i know that has like a pretty prominent like a red apple caramel fair type of vibe going on this is similar but the longer that I'm sitting here sniffing it, the caramel is coming up more to the top. In the opening, you get a lot of the apple. The apple is very realistic. It's like a red apple in the opening. And then the longer that it's sitting here, the caramel is getting sweeter. Okay, you guys. So my dad called me and I've been on the phone with him for like an hour. We had a lot to catch up on. So I'm like, where was I? I think we were talking about this brown girl Jane carousel. So while I was on the phone with him, I was kind of like smelling it and stuff. Just trying to see what I think about it. This is okay to me. It's nice. There is something in here that's that I don't love about it. But overall, it does remind me a lot of the Circus of the Sun scent to the point where I don't... The Circus of the Sun. Sorry. I mean the one, <laughs> the Cirque du Soleil scent. It's called Circus of the Sun from Duo. That's the one that I have. But it reminds me of the, the Cirque du Soleil scent a whole lot to the point where I'm like, oh, I don't really feel like I need this in a full size. It's very similar. Like, I feel like if you weren't able to get your hands on that one, this would be a good alternative kind of thing. But I don't really feel like I need both of those. So while I was smelling that, though... <laughs> I was smelling the other stuff that I put on my arms and I was like, what am I smelling? Cause I, I was kept smelling other things. The vanilla skin is drying down real nice. Loving that. But this caramel skin <laughs> that I have on this arm, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's turning really nutty on my skin for some reason. Like 
there's almost like a bitter, like a walnut or something, like a burnt walnut kind of smell that's coming out on my skin. I don't know how I feel about that. Very interesting. So I'm going to have to report back on that caramel skin, the one from Fleur. It's doing some funny things on my skin. I liked it in the opening, and then now it's getting, it's getting a little bit different. So is that all for the perfumes? I think that was all for the perfumes. Now I'm going to quickly do the the few makeup products that I grabbed. First things that I want to talk about are these um, lip products that I grabbed from Huda Beauty. These are the Faux Filler Extra Shine Lip Glosses from Huda Beauty. I love uh, most things that I get from Huda Beauty. I feel like they have really great products. Skincare or like uh, complexion products and then also beauty like a lot of their stuff I tend to really like so I was curious about these this is what it looks like so these are a gloss that's the I got the shade cocoa it's a very dark brown I wasn't really sure how pigmented these were when I went in store I, sw I swatched them on the back of my hand I was like oh okay these are white pigmented so that's a good thing I do love me a good pigmented gloss because then I don't have to worry about putting on a lipstick um and then the other shade that I grabbed this is in the shade posh a very me color if you can't tell <laughs> uh, I have a thousand lip glosses in this shade but let's try on this brown this might be cool um uh, it's called posh and then the applicator is kind of like a little pointy pointy applicator so let's see how pigmented oh hold on did I even get that in my lips okay it's a little bit I don't feel like we're getting the true color because I just put it all over my lipstick and y'all know my lipstick was like kind of like a pinky nude looks beautiful over top of this lipstick but I think it is going to look different by itself so I will swatch it on the back of my hand for you you can see it's pretty pretty like chocolatey brown but I feel like it shears out a good amount on the lips because it doesn't look like that on my lips and then this one is posh that's what the other one looks like beautiful I think you can't go wrong I don't really smell any any type of scent to these these don't have like a cakey or a fruity they don't smell anything and they don't smell bad either, like they don't smell chemically, but they just don't have a flavor or a scent to them. So the next thing that I'm going to look at is this. This is the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. Refillable, it says. So it looks like this. Um, I grabbed this shade 3 Tan. I feel like a lot of people uh, recommend this, so let's see what it looks like. I think I did swatch this in store, and I know that it goes well with my skin tone, but I haven't tried it on my face because my, my hand actually is a different color from my face. Looks a little bit light, but actually, I think this might work out for me. You see that? Like, you can share it out a good amount. So I plan on using this as, like, a setting powder for my entire face. We'll see how that goes. It, fit, it looks very silky and smooth, though, in the back of my hand. Yeah, we'll see how that works. I don't really know. I, I, I feel like for my whole face, when I go to set my face, I really just use... Um, right now, I'm using the Huda Beauty... I think it's called like Easy Bake Powder, and I don't really absolutely love it, but I'm really just trying to use it up. I have the shade Blondie, and it really is not the best shade for my complexion, but I don't feel like I get like a white cast or anything. You would think, <laughs> but I actually don't. Um, my favorite setting powder of all time is the Laura Mercier. I think it's translucent love that powder and I thought I bought a backup but I, I can't find it so I have been trying to use that easy bake powder from Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty but we're gonna give this a try and see what we feel about it I feel like I hear really good reviews about that and then I also picked up the foundation it's uh also from Charlotte Tilbury this is the Flawless Filter. It says Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow. 
and I grabbed the shade 6 tan I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or not because the thing is I tried this on in store and I really just I assumed that it was like a full coverage foundation but that is not really what this is I didn't realize that this is more like a skin tint type of formula it's a little bit more of like a sheer coverage so I tried it on like a little patch on my face and it literally just disappeared. <laughs> it just like smoothed out into nothing. So I was like, if I'm going to pay that much for a foundation, I needed to have some coverage. Okay. Otherwise, no, I'm not even going to bother. Um, it says apply all over the face as a flawless filter on top of foundation if you want extra coverage. I don't get it. <laughs> I really don't understand this product. Are you supposed to use it on top of foundation or under it or as foundation? I don't really understand what I'm supposed to do with this. I feel like it's really just supposed to be a skin tint to be honest and I don't really want that. The, now the shade is like it seems like the shade is perfect for me. That's the thing. Well it does look a little bit red. Hold on. Yeah see it's so sheer like it kind of just smoothed out into basically like a lotion i don't know you guys i don't know i don't know about this i'm gonna give it one wear and see how i feel but i have oily skin also so this the way this feels like a lotion it feels like a moisturizing lotion and it literally just smoothed out into nothing <laughs> so i'm feeling like this would be perfect for those of you that have already like porcelain clear perfect skin and you just want like maybe a little bit of like a tan or just to enhance your natural complexion maybe this will be perfect for you but I have things that I have to cover up <laughs> and uh this is just not gonna cut it for me so I don't know how I'm feeling about this caramel this caramel skin is drying out real weird like a burnt it's it's like a burnt nut kind of thing going on with that caramel skin I don't know how I feel about that the only other thing that I wanted to tell you guys were like couple other things that I would recommend if you have are still looking for stuff for Sephora um, also what I would recommend my favorite foundation uh, that I've been wearing pretty much since I got it this is the Danessa Myricks yummy skin I think it's called a blurring balm powder. So, you know, I don't know if it's supposed to be foundation, but to me it works like a foundation. It is like a lighter coverage foundation, but you can build it up in my opinion. It, I would say it's like light to medium coverage, but I have quite a bit of dark spots and it covers it up enough for me to where I don't feel like I feel like my face looks mask-like throughout the day, you know what I mean? And I have also oily skin and I feel like it does really good for my oily skin as well. So this might be another item that I'm thinking if I want to get another backup of because I use this a lot. And uh, I still have quite a bit left but I don't know if this is going to carry me until April when we have our next sale from Sephora. So um, I recommend this. I'm in the shade 7 if I didn't say that already. I do recommend this foundation. That's the one that I use. And then also from uh, Sephora that I'm considering if I want to get a backup of. This is the Hula Caramel from Benefit. This is the bronzer from Benefit. Um, I Yeah, it's a shade Caramel. So they have a few different shades. I think they even have one that's deeper than this. If you are deeper than me. This is the this is like my go to uh, my go to bronzer that I love and it's perfect for me. I can get this to act. It looks light in the pan, but this actually gives me a nice bronze around the perimeter of my face, and I can actually use this as contour if I really wanted to. If I pack it on enough, um, I can get it. To, I can use it as like a contour a little bit. Now I will say this is this runs a little bit more on the like the warmer side than if you were trying to do a true contour. It's not cool tone, but that's what I really love about this. I've tried the one from I tried a number of bronzers. I have some from Fenty, I have Huda Beauty, like so many different bronzers, but I always go back to this one because it's just like perfectly warm toned for my skin. Exactly what you want in a bronzer. And I literally use this all the time and I still have so much left in here. Would definitely recommend this if you are in the market for a bronzer. Check out Hula, uh, Hula or Benefit Hula. They have different shades if you're looking. My voice is going. I will say something on my lips doesn't taste good. 
And I'm hoping that it's not that Huda lip gloss. <laughs> because something and that I'm tasting tastes bitter. And I don't know what that is. The last thing that I wanted to tell you guys that I really... I don't know if this is still on Sephora's website. But I feel like if you can find this, it's still um, worth checking out. This is a Natasha Denona eye crayon. It's the My Macro Tech eye crayon. Beautiful green shade. My only worst uh, regret is not getting this in the other shade, but I'm going to check on Sephora and see if there are other shades available. This is the most creamy eye pencil that I've ever used, and it lasts too on my eyes. I don't really wear this shade a lot because it's green, <laughs> and I don't really wear green a lot on my eyes, but I would love to find this in other colors, a purple, a brown, a black. I would love to get the whole collection. So um, if you're looking for a good eye crayon or like an eye pencil, I would definitely recommend the Natasha Denona one. This is one eye pencil that I don't mind paying a lot of money for. I feel like it's really worth it. And the color, this color is gorgeous. This one is in the shade um, Willow. Yeah, it's so buttery and creamy. Like literally just touched it and it's already everywhere. But it does set. Once you have it on your eyes, it does set and it doesn't budge. So I recommend that eye crayon. Um, so yeah, that is it for this video. This super long extravagant haul slash whatever you want to call it. It's probably going to be an hour long, but I'm going to upload it anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I picked out for the Sephora sale. I'm excited to test out a lot of this stuff. Um, let me know what you guys picked up from the sale. Did you shop the sale? I know a lot of people decided to sit out this time around. I thought I was going to too, and then I started building my cart. <laughs> and one thing led to the next, and yeah, this is how we got here. But I'm really loving a lot of the stuff that I got. I will have to report back to you guys on some of these other perfumes. But like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I would love to have you here, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.